Welcome back to Experience Natural Trees. I know it's been a while, but today we're going to talk about CBD versus CBG versus CBN. Stay tuned. Guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am to be in front of this camera again. Life has been absolutely nuts, but if you want to see what's been going on and what I've been spending a lot of energy and time on here lately, I've got another channel up called Live Exotic, and I'll put a link to that here. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. Oh, found myself a nice little rock. I don't think we could find a much better place to do this video than the mountains of Colorado. So let's get right into it, because intros are fine, but they're just like assholes. Everyone has one and they all stink. And what I'm gonna be talking about in this video is not the chemical structures of all these cannabinoids. I know that you guys don't really care, and if you do care, I'll probably have a more in-depth analysis of different cannabinoids in the future, but let's just get into the benefits of these different cannabinoids. Now, before I get into this, I'm not a doctor. Do not take this word as gospel. That's not what this is about. This is about potential benefits, not about true, tried medical benefits. That's not what this is about, so don't take it like that. So let's start with CBG. CBG and CBD are actually pretty similar as far as structure goes. Now, I'm not gonna get into it, I just said that. But they are a similarly structured molecule, so you're gonna see a lot of the same types of benefits. And what you're gonna get from CBG is that pain and inflammation benefit. So it'll help mitigate pain and it'll help mitigate inflammation. And another possible benefit from CBG is bacterial infections. Now that's different. I had not ever read that anywhere until I started really researching these cannabinoids quite a bit. And we'll get a little bit more in detail with that as we talk about more cannabinoids. Now let's talk about CBD. And CBD is one of the most researched cannabinoids out there right now. Uh, basically, if, if you've heard of any cannabinoid, it's probably CBD and THC. Now CBD, like I said, very closely related, related to CBG, and you're gonna get some of the same benefits. So the inflammation and pain reduction with CBD is also there. Now along with that, a lot of us have seen the documentary Charlotte's Web, and uh, really, really interesting documentary. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It's, it's truly, it's amazing. Uh, CBD is known to have neuroprotective properties potentially. And through those neuroprotective properties, it can help people with epilepsy, the get seizures, things like that, um, to actually stop the frequency of those happening, which is really, really cool. Now, along with that neuroprotective property, there is also potential to reduce anxiety and reduce depression. Now, with reduction of anxiety and depression, you have to know that this isn't necessarily a cure. This is a way for your body, your neural process, to actually break up that pattern of anxiety and depression. This isn't a fix. This is a way to stop that communication from happening over and over again. Really interesting. Now, talking about this neuroprotective properties of CBD, people with MS, can have a reduction of spasms and people with Parkinson's disease anecdotally show a higher quality of life. And that just means that they feel better when using CBD. Like I said, this is not medical advice. This is just potential benefits of these cannabinoids. Do not take this as a medical journal, please. But I do have a story that I can share about that as well. So I drove a quadriplegic um, to and from physical therapy appointments, and he did have muscle spasms where basically his whole body would uh, start to shake and start to tense. And the way that he combated this was by smoking. Now he wasn't using just CBD, he was actually eating edibles and um, smoking, getting the THC, the CBD, you know, all those cannabinoids in one. He wasn't just using 
an oil or anything like that. But when he did use, like actively smoke while um, he was having a spasm, they would stop. And it was, it was honestly, it was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Uh, but to me, seeing that made me a believer. So like I said, very anecdotal. That's just what I saw. But I think it's important to share my experience as well, because it's interesting. Another interesting potential benefit about CBD is that it may be good for your heart health. And let's go back to anxiety and depression, right? When you have anxiety, your blood pressure rises. When you take CBD, it actually lowers your blood pressure, which may in turn help your anxiety and also help your heart. High blood pressure is a risk to heart health. Now let's move on to CBN. According to a 2008 study, CBN also has potential antibacterial properties. And those antibacterial research that, that is so, so new and in its infancy state, I don't really wanna get into it. If you think you have an infection, just go to the doctor. Don't think that this is gonna help you. Now also really interesting to me because I had a grandfather uh, that passed away of ALS. And in 2004, they did a study on CBN and it actually delayed the onset of ALS. Interesting, truly interesting. I wish I would have known that back then. CBN has also been theorized to give you that appetite stimulating effect, like when you're smoking weed and you've got the munchies, that type of effect, as well as giving you a form of sleep aid as well. Now, when we talk about those two things, you think about falling asleep and getting the munchies with smoking weed, right? But I don't think about it when I just take CBD by itself. I don't feel that way at all. And the reason for that is CBN and THC are much more matched molecularly than the other two compounds that we talked about. CBG and CBD being related, having those same similar benefits, as opposed to CBN and THC having similar benefits. Now that we've talked about all these cannabinoids separately, you can absolutely use them separately and they have their benefits. When taken together, when taken CBD, CBG, and CBN together, you get what's known as the entourage effect, which basically creates a more powerful therapeutic profile than if you were to just take, let's say, CBD by itself, which I think is really interesting. Now, I didn't really know this was a thing until recently when I started taking the CBG, CBD, and CBN extract. And it was interesting because I'd, I've used CBD for years for muscle pain and for inflammation. I frequent the gym and it's really the only thing that helps me. And I'm not the guy that likes to take ibuprofen every day. I don't believe in it. And it's not because it doesn't work. It's because I think we rely too much on medication. Now, one thing that always bothered me, some people would say that they could take CB and they would fall asleep. I have an extremely overactive brain. When I lay down, I cannot go to sleep. I just think about everything that I want to do, everything that I'm trying to do, what I want to do tomorrow, what I did today, what I did yesterday. So it's really, really annoying to me. However, when I started using the CBD, CBG, CBN extract, I was getting that feeling of, I like to call it floating because you kind of feel like a weight come off your shoulders, but I was also able to go to sleep at night. So I thought that was really interesting. Now let's talk about where you can actually find these extracts to see if you get that same entourage effect that I'm talking about. It's really interesting. And if you've only tried CBD, I think it's definitely worth trying the CBG, CBD, CBN complex just to see if you feel a difference. It's weird. It really is. It, and I do see a difference. What I'm using right now is a company called Plain Jane. They make the CBD, CBG, CBN extract. Now, just so that you guys know, they did send this to me for free but I'm not a shill. I believe that marketing should be truthful and I disagree with modern medicine and why this stuff is not being used more frequently to help with symptoms instead of the pills that we take. 
because I just don't believe in them. I don't believe in the pills. This stuff, I can get behind. It's natural. Why, why, did, why did Mother Nature put it here on this planet? For us to use, that's why. Mother Nature did not put a pill making machine because we didn't need it. This is the little vial that it's gonna come in and basically you're gonna take a whole dropper once to three times a day. I only do it once a day and I notice a difference. So check out the link below and there will be more CBD, CBG, CBN videos to come. Guys, if you liked this video and you learned something today about the different cannabinoids, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Experience Natural Trees. And until next time, keep it green.